memory for the Intel motherboard was rather easy to select. Um, it's Garden Variety DDR3-1333, but to be on the safe side, I went to Intel's site. They have a third-party person that they have test at least one set of chips in every board they make, I think. And uh, they had uh, the 32 gig set version of this tested by this manufacturer, same product uh, line, and I determined that the specs on that chip match the specs on these chips. You can see they're double-sided chips. Now this can confuse once in a while because it says that this board will take 32 gigabytes max using 4 gigabyte technology. Well you've got 4 slots. 4 times 4 is 16, not 32. But they're talking about 4 gig on each side of the memory chip, which brings you to 8, 16, 24, 32, which is the max that this board will handle. We're putting in 8. Windows 7 can take around 2. Uh, estimates range between 1 and a quarter gig and 1.7 gig just to run Windows 7 idling. So you want to put a lot of memory in your machine if you're running Windows 7.